Hey, guess where we are? We're on the tunnel, or on the train that's going under the tunnel. There's the guys. Give us a wave. Today we're riding the B500. I've just got to uh, lay by where I'm waiting for the guys to come past me and we'll film as they go past. But look at this epic setting. Fantastic roads, brilliant bends, and hopefully I'll be able to catch them as they come around here quite well. There you go, Robert, JJ, John and Ray all passed. How was that, Mr. Ray? That was off the cobblestones. It was fantastic. Good. <laughs> AJ, how did you find that? Uh, exhilarating and nervous at the same time. Very wow. Nervous. I'm not saying we're slow, but you know, there's a load of tractors coming up the cross block now. Anyway, here we are. We're at the biker's point, cross block there. Everybody chose to do the uh, cross plotting today, so um, we've made it up here, nice and sunny, although the cloud is coming in, but as, also, as usual, it's an awesome place. That's what we're talking about, look at that, that's a view, isn't it? We're still on the Chur 2 descent uh, road. Uh, we can't go past this bus that's in front of us, but I just thought, look at this view. This is immense. Well, we've turned off the uh, the Chur to, uh, or should I say, we've turned off the Chur Road, and we're now on the uh, Oberol Pass Road, which is number 19. And look at the view. I mean, the road is immense. There's loads of bikes on here, flying down. But the view is just tremendous. Look at this, I'm about a mile down from the top of the Furka Pass. Uh, day eight of our odyssey around the Alps, Austrian and Swiss Alps. And um, look at this view. That is pretty amazing, isn't it? So that's the, the rest of the Furka Pass coming down the other side there. And the waterfall is left of an old glacier just up around the corner there. And like I said in the itinerary, the views are ridiculous. Look at that. Absolutely stunning. Here we go, look at this, the Suston Pass. 
almost at the top. Big glacier up on the uh, right hand side there. Another big glacier coming over there, look. Pretty awesome pass this one. This is my favourite of the ones we've done so far. Really like this. Okay, we're over the top now, going back down the other side of the Suston Pass, and this is pretty spectacular. Look at that. Amazing, I love this pass. The roads are awesome. Seems such a shame to drive fast down them, you're missing all this fantastic view. Look at it. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. There we go, top of the uh, Newfoundland. What a view. Just like a lot of the Stelvio, it's cobbled. That's probably why you don't get many cyclists on it. And possibly why you don't get many motorcyclists on it. But look at this. How often do you get to ride a cobbled pass? Happy boy now. <laughs> I haven't ridden on a, a road like this for ages in Europe. This is absolutely fantastic. Right, here we go. We are post Gotthard five passes day and all the rest of it. And I've got all the guys here. Mr. Ray's now feeling better. You all right, Mr. Yeah, Ray? So have you had a nice day today, Ray? I'm mm. wiggling this around like... Um, yeah, it's a very fun day. Love it. Good roads. I can be... I got, I got the decent weather. Yeah, all right. <laughs> There's Mr. Robert. Mr. Robert, how was your day? Very good, thank you. What did very, you do? Very enjoyable. Mm. You took an I alternative route, didn't you? The, uh, yes, as always. <laughs> I took the Nerfling <laughs> Pass in life. Yes. The old St. Gotthard Road and then did it in the reverse order as well. Brilliant. As posted on the Magellan Thing site. Wow. Facebook, I believe it's the called. Thing now. site. Can I just say that uh, Robert is now a Facebook aficionado? <laughs> as, as you can tell. <laughs> <laughs> Rouge Gazon, penultimate night. How's it been? It's been awesome. Been fantastic. Right, but was that yeah. the, the, uh, well said, what's, yeah. what's that bit of road? The the uh, the bit of road. The Tour de France road. The Tour de France bit. Mm. Fantastic. That's the highlight of the book. That's the highlight of the book. It made up for everything else today. Driving glorious sunshine as well, which helps, doesn't it? There you go. Beautiful.